scrub a dub grub, I made a tub, and it's so yummy. This video is not a tutorial. I just wanted to show you guys how awesome and how extensive the whole process of making one of these cakes from beginning to end. If you would like to learn more in detail how I did certain parts of this cake, I did make separate videos for that. I'm going to show you the whole process of and all the work that it takes, all the work that goes into making these beautiful cakes. I am not going to go into details today, but if you want to see some... So the first step, obviously baking, making your buttercream, but then we cut out the shape of the cake. And we always want to cut out bigger rather than smaller. Fill the cake with icing, stack the cake, and then crumb coat the cake. And of course, refrigerate the cake. Buttercream is gonna get carved off my cake. I still wanna crumb coat it really nicely because I don't want it drying out in the fridge. And now it's carving time. I use a big knife when I need help with angles and straight lines. Ah, did you guys see that? Some of the leftover cake went back on the cake. Okay, I think I have the bathtub shape down, so it's time to crumb coat again. Sculpting cakes is such a process, especially because, so you constantly have to be putting it into the fridge and waiting for it to cool down again. Okay, okay, don't freak out. I am not going to throw all of this cake away. I am actually gonna put it to really good use and it is not to feed my dog. And I am trying not to eat all of it, but I will show you what I do with it if you wanna check out my other video on how to repurpose cake scraps. Here I am adding some texture for bubbles. Ooh, and now my favorite part, the covering. I said I'm trimming off the excess, and then I am going to let this cake cool again in the refrigerator for a couple of hours. While my cake is chilling in the fridge, I am going to make my beautiful OCD board. This, this board took me so long to make, but I think it's well worth it because it just adds so much to the design. So I am going to cut a whole lot of these shapes in different colors and then assemble it this fast. Well, it certainly was not fast, but it really does look very cool. I think I want my bathroom tile to look like this now. Oh my God, I feel tired just by watching this all over again. This definitely gave my cake a lot of time to cool in the refrigerator. Okay, back to the cake. I am now going to cut the bottom board to fit perfectly underneath my cake. Now it's time to make a little table so that my cake can stand on. One of the coolest elements illusion that I created here and if you would like to know how I did this more in detail go check out my other video but for now I am going to glue this cake onto the board that I have ready for it on my on my base board Now I am going to cover the whole bathtub in white fondant. And to be honest, this was the hardest part of the whole cake, getting this little curve 
on top of the bathtub was the hardest part. I am carefully filling my mold with just enough fondant not to overflow it and I am going to use these as the decorations or the claw foods, claw feet. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. I do know how to speak English. All right, a little bit of dab and hold glue and we glue it to the bathtub. All right, now I am making the baby head. I can show you guys in detail how I did this on my other video, but for today, I'm just gonna quickly go over it. Making this baby head was pretty easy and it came out super cute. I decided to give him blue eyes to match the bubbles in the bathtub and a cute little curl at the top of his head. And all I need is a neck because he's gonna be inside of the bubble so you won't see anything else. And there, he's ready to go in. Perfect baby in. Now it's time to add just a few extra details to the cake, some more bubbles, some spilling water. And I think I'm done. Okay guys, this is it, the final product. I, and it was, you know, it's a lot of things that go into making this carved, sculpted illusion cake. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching the process. I love making it and I think it came out super cute. I would love to hear from you guys. If uh, there's anything else you guys would like to see me do, please let me know. And for now, this is it. I will see you guys again next week. Bye.